Hey guys, Harry here. I'm back with another Brick Lane vlog, doing the back side of the boundary wall today. Uh, this build, I was split into like three days, but I did half a day on each, so it's basically like a day and a half build. There's about a thousand bricks in this, just short of, so sort of hitting my average for half a day on every uh, on every bit on every uh, you know attempt at the build because I got broke off a few times in between doing some remedial work, finishing off a few other. Uh, walls that other gangs had done uh, that, had, uh, that had jacked up and a, a few other I did have to do a little cut up and a few other things a bit of patching this week so I didn't really get any decent bits of work uh, to get my teeth stuck into it mainly day work but for when I could get on this wall I uh, you know I got some clips really just for YouTube really um, I've been getting a lot of support and appreciating uh, all the comments I've been getting and uh, my main aim of this channel is just to like you know show some basically real world on the site on site sort of brick laying from you know a one on one so a single brick layer and, and a more casual a more casual approach to price work as I should say because there's a big extreme um, it's a bit of an extreme approach to price work in you know, on most sites, there's either gangs that are just flat out or they're on the way home, you know. I take a different approach. I like to turn up to work every day, you know. You know, come what, what, what may, you know, whether the weather's bad or good, I try to turn up, I try to have a go. And it's stress-free. I work on my own with my, dad, with my old man as my labourer. And I've never, I had a stressful day on site in ever since I tried to go two and one again, which I tried going two and one about four or five months ago, didn't work out uh, so much harder. And, uh, but before that, I've been one on one for like three or four years, obviously with, with the old man. Uh, he's been working with me about two years now. And, and I've, you know, stress-free way to earn a living uh, on price work on, you know, housing sites. That's just sort of my aim, just show different methods I use. Just And I'm not saying that I'm fucking the fastest bricklayer because I'm not by any, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, as you can see. I take my time, I don't rush, but I still get plenty done. And that's sort of the the main the main sort of aim of these videos is sort of just showing people how to get things done effectively and efficiently without rushing and having a you know an enjoyable time. And that's kind of why... You know, you can see I'm a quite, I'm a bigger guy. I'm not your tip. I'm not the build of a typical bricklayer, and you know I still get plenty done. And it just shows you don't have to be like a rake rushing about, or you know up and down the scaffold, etc., etc. You don't have to weigh ten stone to fucking get loads of bricks laid. You know, you can you know you can be any any size. You know, any any fitness level with the right technique and uh, the, the right know-how you know you can get plenty done uh obviously a lot, of, a lot of the work i'm showing you has been walls and garages um just because obviously on most sites the work to a build program and obviously i don't fit the quota for the time scale of these builds i'm a little bit slower than a two and one or two brick layers so and a lot of the times these uh, managers on building sites like three three and ones four gangs you know minimum two brick layers on houses but i get a pot now and again when i get in like a on a house or a pot that isn't isn't they aren't pushing for so it's nice i, I don't like rushing you know uh they get the, the uh the firm work for know that i had like to you know make a good job of everything i do so it's uh it's one of the things you know as a as a one-on-one -on -one, you just got to be good with people because you you know in a gang, there's normally like you've got your ganger who does all the fucking organising for the gang. But as a one as a one brick layer, you know, it tends to be more hands on with everyone. So you gotta be just you know good with speaking to people, be nice to people. I, you know, I treat everyone just how I would like to be treated myself. You know, you run into a few assholes, you know, a few asshole managers now and again, but few and far between if you speak to them nicely. And there's not many people cut funny with, cut, cut funny with me. You know, people say all day long that, oh, I'm on YouTube, in the YouTube comments, oh, I'm slow or I'm fucking fat or whatever. But, you know, I've never had a negative interaction on sites, really, uh, face to face. And, uh, yeah, 
you know if you especially when you uh, you know building, modern building sites quite intimidating for any new apprentices coming on you know the people you meet working on site a lot of people a lot of the sites will be on price a lot of the trades will be on price people aren't always you know won't always help newcomers and you know some people are you know rushing around and my theory behind this is is you know a number of things is either people ha not happy with what they're earning they want to earn more money which is you know general humans are greedy they want more money everyone wants more money really but you find a lot of the time especially when you'll ask other bricklayers this is more you know towards apprentices but you know a lot of seasoned guys will know this is that you know you talk to guys bricklayers or in general and a lot of them i come across are really fucking grim you know they always look pissed off some people you know you always find that gang or that bricklayer is moaning about everything that's a common trend but my theory behind it is the working in the wrong size gang or the working with people they don't get on with really or the working with you know in, you know, not the right situation, and that can really stress you out. Because I've worked in, you know, I tried going back two and one, uh, working with another old guy, and I found it really, it found it really stressful. Uh, you know, things weren't, I wasn't working the way I wanted to work. Things weren't going the way I wanted to. So that's why I think that's the reason why a lot of guys you come across maybe aren't as friendly, or you have more negative interactions with people on building sites, is because they're probably working in in the wrong situation with the wrong people. And that's the same in any job. So if you know, you'll if you come across someone who's a bit of a difficult person to work with, uh, you know, it makes life stressful. So this is why I'm a big advocate of one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, in a way, my sort of like ideal is to slow everything down a little bit. Why, you know, uh, the influence. If more people want to go one-on-one, -on -one, everyone, you know, all the all the building sites would have, have to slow down a little bit. You know there'd be not as much rust not as much stress mental health would be better for everyone and uh and yeah it's uh yeah hope everyone's enjoying the stuff you know obviously i talk about different stuff every video but hope everyone, everyone's sort of getting what i'm trying to do here with this channel uh just try, just try to show a more moderate approach while i'm still getting plenty done because i know why like, i get i get accused of being a day work bricklayer all the time which I don't fucking, I don't get because I can't find these day work jobs that are mythical, paying 200, 250 a day day work, you know. They are out there, but they're not as, they're not as, uh, it's not like you can just walk up and volunteer to be a day worker. Those, you know what I mean? They're like rocking on shit. So, uh, you know, majority of work is brick lasers on price and, you know, any sites or, that's obviously a lot of us are self employed. There is guys on the books, but, a lot of guys are self-employed and you know what i mean it's a, there's a price for everything so um yeah but yeah that's my theory behind you know guys brit laser are grim or not happy all the time because they're working in a bad situation sort of the videos i i do they're also a lot of them are when i'm working solo or one-on-one -on -one. and a lot of the effort comes from myself you know what i mean i haven't got you know my dad isn't like wiping my ass fucking running around ragged you know he does just what he needs to do, and I organise everything. I get all the bricks where they need to be. I I deal with all the forklift drivers, management, everything. You know, and that's sort of what I like to try and encourage with these videos is that showing it can be done. You know, I'm only 25, 26 in a month or so. And, uh, you know, I've learned over the years just to, you know, how to speak to people, be nice and polite and gets you a long way. So, um you know, and it's a stress-free environment. I've been, I've had stress-free working conditions for like the last at least three or four years, especially when my dad worked with me. Um, I found it hard on my own, but especially being one-on-one, -on -one, even though he's part-time and he likes to have a few days off, um, it's great. You know, what I mean, I feel it's the most, uh, it's one of those stress-free jobs at times, especially when you can just work away on a nice piece of work. You know, some days you'll earn less money than others. It's just a fact of life. You'll lay less bricks one some days. Like on this day, I only I came in, I only had a couple hours on the trowel, I laid a couple hundred bricks, finished off this panel and went home. I had to do a bit of patching, etc. But you know, and then other days I laid like 950 bricks. So that's like a 650 brick difference. Um sorry, 750 brick difference in one day. And uh, that's just the way it goes. It can be a bit 
you know, a bit of a mind fuck sometimes when you wonder how did I lay so many bricks one day and not the other. But it's just the way it goes, brick laying, type of work you're on, etc. etc. So anyway, I've not really talked about the, the work I'm doing because it's sort of self-explanatory, but I built uh, for the reason of this video, uh, I built two big rack backs uh, with the pillars. I, I, normally, if I'd have been sort of, I'd have like been midweek and not on a Friday, I'd have sort of built little corners and run them in. And then I'd have probably cracked on with a bit more of the wall. But today I was just sort of setting this up for YouTube, really. So building these big two rack backs, just freehand. But, and a uh, little tip just before I finish. Um, because I've split these videos up into sections. Uh, I've re I just follow the joints behind, so I follow the bed joint behind, follow the perps behind of the other skin of uh, a brick wall. And you're not far wrong, you know, when building corners, pop the old level on, check plumb, check level, and away you go. You can get those rack backs pretty easy up on the back side of a nine inch wall. So yeah, and uh, a few other things as well. Um, the way I do these videos, I don't claim to know everything. I don't claim to say pick and nips, tip pick and nips the best way to lay bricks. It's just what is fast and it's what's less effort. And that's the goal of these videos. I'm not trying to say that I'm fucking the best brick layer or the fastest brick layer. I'm nowhere near um, the fastest or, you know, or the best I could be. I've just got to spend, you know, another 20, 30 years at it and, uh, you know, get better and better each day. So that's the point of these vlogs to just show a bit of progression and, and just to show that, you know, even not being the fastest and the fucking, you know, the most experienced, you can still get plenty done with the, with the right technique. So anyway, um, it's about a 12 minute video. So obviously I, I think I said before, I'm splitting these up into sections. So even though this is like, you know, another clip, uh, they'll all be, the set of clips will be split into, uh, into three parts and then I'll, you know, end it with an intro and outro as normal. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm coming to the end of this clip now. So um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, subscribe and like the video and hit the notification bell for uh, daily, uh, daily vlogs. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you after the bank holiday.